In today's video, we're going to be drafting the best rap songs, me versus Ant, and it's going to be based on different categories, such as songs that feature Travis Scott, songs that have a number in their title, and much more. But before we actually get started, guys, if you want to access more drafts just like this, including our draft of Drake songs, head over to our NFR Plus channel, which is linked in our description and in the pinned comment. Thank you guys for supporting, and we do a bunch of content on that channel every single week. But Ant, let's get into this. Five different drafts today. The first one being songs that feature Travis and the coin flip is going to tell us the coin starts. flip. So explain to people how we're doing it today because we always kind of like mess around with this system, right? We said we were doing snake last time, but it was actually like the opposite low key. Yeah. So, um, so I guess the way we're going to do this for today is whoever wins this coin flip at the moment, what we're going to do is, is that that person is going to start round one, round then, three, and round five. Exactly. So, because either way, someone's going to get three, three starts. Out, yeah, three starts out of the five rounds. So go for it. Call it in the air. Heads. It is tails. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you I'll, get I'll take the first pick. Yeah. Um, all right, songs that feature Travis Scott. I'll be honest with you, man. There was a lot of good choices. There is. You know from. what? Because I'm looking at my draft order here, and to be quite honest with you, like, it's not hard to get a good draft ranking out of this one. It's not hard to get a good draft ranking out of this. It's not too hard. But you know what? I'm going to go with a song that I feel like is probably Travis's best collaboration on a Metro Boomin' album. It's a song that I feel like... I'm at risk of losing out to you, which is why I'm taking it. I don't think it's necessarily the best song that features Travis, but I want to get it off the board. It's going to be Trance by Metro. You're going to take I'm Trance taking that Trance early? at number one, absolutely. Wow. Okay, you know what? Bro, it's, it sounds I, like you're going to like a psychedelic like club, bro. It's just it's a vibe of a song. It's only grown on me with time. I, I can't be mad at you for that, but you know what? To say that it's his best collaboration on a Metro album, I don't agree with you because Ghostface Kill is on the board, and that was my number one selection. In this. It's a good if pick. I, if, a listen, good pick. if I was going to start this round, I would have taken this. Lou, be very careful with the I'm, way I'm that you with Trance. <laughs> Yeah, but over Ghostface Killer, I don't know. Lou. I would, I would rather bump Trance over Ghostface Killer. I don't know, Lou. At least as a late, I'm, just, I'm in that bag right now. All um, right, what do you got next, bro? Next up, oh man, so many crazy picks. Okay, you know what? I have to snag this one again. It wouldn't even be my first or second choice, but because it's at risk of being taken, I don't want to say it for the later rounds. I'm going Dark Knight Dumbo with yeah, Trippy Red. Yeah, okay. You know what? That's valid. You were about to take that, weren't That's you? That's valid. I had it at my number three selection. So if you wouldn't have taken it, I would have considered it. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Um. So, so far, you have Trance and Dark Knight Dumbo. I have Ghostface Killers. So I feel like if I get something as strong as strong as Dark Knight Dumbo, I could be on par with you just because I do feel like I surpass you with the Ghostface Killer. Like, I don't know about that one, with you. man. Ah, fuck. What are you going to go tough. with here? So you were going to go with Dark Knight. I did snag your pick. <laughs> fuck. There we um, go. Okay, arguably Travis Scott's best ever feature. I'm going to take this off the board. I'm going out for the night part two. I'm going to have to take really? this Really? That early? Yeah, I'm gonna wow, have to take that wasn't it. even on my uh, radar, we go. bro. We're going to take out for the night part Because you got to think about it, too. It's not only about the Travis feature. No, it's about it's the overall song. Well, not only that, the production switch is absolutely fantastic. You could argue, actually, out of all of these features that I have here, that's the best verse that he actually delivered. It's one of the best songs on I Am Greater Than I Was. I'm going out for the night part two. All right. Iconic song for that album as well. I'm going to go for a bit, of a, a bit of a diverse pick here. I feel like it's Travis's best non hip hop song as a feature. Is it Love Galore? It's gonna be Love Galore yeah, by okay. SZA. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Up. Fine, fine, fine. That's that's okay. I had that lower on my board. I was gonna I was bro, gonna that, consider... that, that, like that's a song that really yeah, shows no, no, his no. range, bro. Uh, singing and rapping. Come on. I agree with you. But you see at the same time it's like I'm not sure. There's still some very big picks on this board. Oh fuck. If, it's, is... if there's so many big picks then why are you why are you hesitating? Because I, out I here? could go a bunch of different ways okay. if I'm being honest with you. Sure. Um Okay, you know what? I have this on the board and I want to take it. I've used this in Ox Battles and it, it wins every single round. You'll never lose an Ox Battle with this. It's going to be the Hoth remix. I have to take this off. Okay, that's here. a good pick. I have to. That's a good I, pick. I've never, I've never lost a round in our Ox Battles with this. So, I, I, so, that's a good pick. I like, like that one. Like big fucking slappers. So there we go. I got Man, that one out of the way. I'm debating between like three of them right now. Honestly, Jeez. the way that I'm going to react to your next pick is going to be based on like what you choose here. Because I feel like we're very, we're in a similar boat right now. We're in a very you similar know what? boat. I, I feel like I've been prioritizing the song over the feature for a lot of these picks, which you should be doing. It's a, it's a, it's a draft for songs that feature Travis, not Travis features. But in this case, this is the full fucking package, bro. This is one of Travis's best ever performances, one of his best ever entrances into a song. 
It's recent. People are familiar with it. Nina. You're going to go with Nina, Nina that for American the Dream. Uh, well, I mean, I that early. Know. It's number four. Ooh, I don't know. It's number four, Dude, brother. Dude, there's some big fucking picks there. Nina, You're gonna but, bro, is that not one of his best ever? That, that, that's a better song now for the night part, too. Easily. You want to talk about 21? Get, and no, Travis and Nina's is a, better, bro. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Come out on. for the night part, two or Nina. Out for the night part, Don't tell me Any Travis day performance. Of week. Yes, it is. It's better. No, it's I'll play you over out for the night part, too, again. All right, so you're going to go with that? So that's whatever. Listen, uh, Ash, whatever you have to do to cope with your picks, you could go for it. But I don't have to. We know that Nina's a better song. Dude, listen, I have the Hot Remix. I have Out for the Night Part 2 and Ghostface Killer. I, I'm not coping at this point. I'm only choosing bangers. Okay, what's your fourth pick? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Portland off of this one. I'm going to snag that up that's right now. Um, you know, one of the best songs off of More Life. That Travis performance is absolutely fantastic. Arguably the best feature on that album as well. We're going Portland. Let's get that off the books. All right, here it is. This is a very crucial pick. This is the last pick. Um, there's a lot on the board still for me. I'm looking at a lot of different shit. I have um, four songs left on my you know draft what? board. I'm, I, I've, I've gone with a lot of very well-known tracks, but I want to go with something that's really about the art and about the song. Um, dropped in 2014. Is This is that Days Before Rodeo Travis. Um, a song that... When you listen to it instrumentally, you could see how it maybe influenced him to create the sonic landscape of Utopia. Ghost Town by Young Lean featuring Travis Scott okay, is my last pick. I can't Amazing be mad at song. Pick. I can't be mad at the um, pick. It's just that all, like, all the are, you sure vocal effects, are, are you sure for a drag? Absolutely. I, I've listened if to you song. listen to his extended vocal notes, some of his best ever crooning on a song, the OG fans are going to salute me on that. Mm -hmm. Ghost Town by Young Lean. So that was a tactic with that pick. It was to go back for the OGs. I Absolutely. respect it. I, I, you, I have to play. respect it. I, I love and the you know song. What? It's an amazing song. You're right. I can't. But I'm going to name you four other songs you could have gone with that I think would have been a better pick. You have Let It Fly. That's still on the no. board. You, are you kidding Banks me? Banks Ghost Town. No, you're out yes. of your mind. Are you kidding me? No. That's an incredible collaboration. One of the best songs off the Carter Five. Absolutely. The no, no, no. The, the, don't the, even... vo the vocal mixing on the song isn't my favorite. Nah, no but way. Anyways. We have Kelly Price there. I know. Th there's a big, I was there, there's at it. a big Kelly Price pick. So it's between those. I have Mile High by James Blake. That's another one. Overrated. Or overdue. So I'm between I'm between Kelly Price and Overdue. There's even another one that we're forgetting. I'm only gonna say it afterwards so you don't snag it. But, but why don't you take it as your last one? Because you really wanted to go ghost town? Absolutely. You know what, fuck it. I'm taking Kelly Price in this one. Yeah, we, we've, we've even spoken about how this is arguably the best song off of Culture. Um, we've talked about how that Travis feature is arguably the best off of the album itself. I think you've actually called this his best ever feature at one point, too. So. I said it's one of, yeah. So I, I'm going to have to snag that up. So um, but The other one that we both didn't pick, Champions. I, I was kidding. Travis, I, that, that's a great I song. Might, I might pick it in another another draft of ours. Actually. Ah, I see. I see where you're because going. Because I'm this. I'm trying to be diverse with the picks. You know, yeah. you can't fucking keep spamming the same overall picks. So this is exactly how the draft order went. You picked number one trance. I picked Ghostface Killer. Well, you picked, just reveal yours. I'll reveal oh, mine. Okay, It'll be no simpler. Yeah. So I have Ghostface Killer. I have Out for the Night Part Two. I have Hot Remix. I have Portland and Kelly Price. Those are fucking yeah, slappers. So, so you went for the, the mainstream bangers. Yeah, the, the, the big I, bangers. I, I, I kind of like I directed mine towards diversity ah, and yes, quality sir. i have the, the mix of diversity and quality i have trance at number one dark knight dumbo at number two love galore at number three nina at number four and ghost town by young lean at number five i'm very happy with this i, I think i feel like i, think if I, I slightly I edge, edge you out no, but i feel like listen if someone handed me the ox you'd probably go with my rotation over yours i don't sure. know man absolutely because For those ox? songs have been abused on the ox at least mine no. are not to overly abused dude listen Anytime Hot Remix comes on on the Ox, bro, you know it's going to be an absolute <laughs> blast. But okay, intros on rap albums. Oh, baby. This Th one was this, sick. This, this, is, this is a bit shitty for me and like the way that like our turns got chosen because I would have rather have had the first pick for the intros. Why? There's because four great intros. For, for the, for, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have minded. No, I wouldn't have like, minded to, to me, go second with this. At least the, the, on my the, There's one number one for this that needs to be picked. Maybe but in your books. I mean, yeah, but that's such a hard and, thing and, to and call, And I feel though. like you're going to choose it, but we'll see. No, you always do that. You try to put pressure on me to like sway me. I'm all worried about that. There, there's full of great fucking intros. Absolutely. By the way, for this round, we're not considering like example the Watcher. Something like a song like the Watcher is not going to be able to be picked because there's an intro that comes before that. I know for like a lot of all timeless people do consider tracks like that, like say, the 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 opening second track. But for us, it has to be like the first track on the Cause album. Because you know why? There's always confusion of like, oh well, the album started off with a skit, so that's not considered the intro. But yet some people do consider it the intro. So. We we played it safe. We, we played it safe. It has to be literally the first song that appears on a track list. Yeah. That's what it is. Um, so listen, I have my first pick. When I was doing, um, let's say, just my calculations yesterday, and I was getting in my little wizard bag. I know like, what you're doing. Um, no, you don't. Because the thing is, is that the one to three 
is tough. Like, I'm happy that I got one here because the one to three for me, not that it's all on a similar level, but I'm happy if I get two out of these, if I'm be quite honest with you. Um, I'm going to take Ambitions as a right as uh, first pick. I have to take it. Um, I think it's one of the best ever hip-hop songs of all time, one of the most iconic songs of all time. Defined the Death Row era, um, kicked off one of the best double albums of all time. It's aggressive in energy, one of the best rapping performances you'll ever hear to start off an album. And that's what I'm going to pick with my first one. That's it's a what beautiful I'm- pick. I have nothing... But good thing to say about that choice because that that was like my one and two. That was the one and two. That was the one and two. Because I, I think I, I think I know where you're gonna go with this. You next. know where I'm gonna go. But I, I I love the ambitions of the writer song so much. Fucking energy and just ruthless passion. But um, mine's gonna be arguably the best song on the ultimate masterpiece of our generation. It's going to be Wesley's Theory by Kendrick. Yeah, you see, um, I-, I could show you my draft order. I had Ambitions as a Rider 1, Wesley's Theory That's two. so fun. I had them in verse. Yeah, I, I had, I had, I had Wesley's at 1. Okay, fine. So you could say, listen, I still think I get you at Ambitions as a Rider. I think so. it's a better rap song than Wesley's Theory, but fine. I, I think We're, we're on even uh, playing yes, ground there. Yes, 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 yes. Even playing field. Okay. But now this is where I'm going to have to come in with the third. But even looking at my fourth position, you have to make sure you get the fourth well. That's where you're going to have to really get it well. Because I'm going to take Tuscan Leather off oh, the board. Yeah, I have to take that, Tuscan Leather. Yeah, yeah there we go. I have he to take Tuscan it. Leather off the board. That, that was a good pick because <laughs> I didn't necessarily have it next, but I'm like, that's one that we're both going to go for. Oh, for so it's sure. smart Absolutely. To, to grab well, not only that, but you look at nothing was the same. I mean, you and I both have it in our top 10 albums of the decade, um, both on our favorite albums of all time as well. That both made our list. Um, one of the best ever Drake rapping performances. Um, it's just, it's a classic, dude. And the way that it kicked off the album, especially getting that beat switch, like you're not going to, it's very hard to find an intro like that, if I'm being honest. But with I you. found one. And you know what? Since you have a mix of modern and classic intro, I'm going to follow your lead. Okay, what do you got? I'm taking Put It On by Big L for my second pick. Very good pick. This is a song that very makes me pick. feel like fucking buying a boombox and having a block party. That's you very know what good. I mean? That's Just a very good Vintage, pick. wholesome 90s vibes. I love the crowd behind Big L's voice. voice and... Uh, yeah, just his rapping is is top tier all over that song. Fantastic. So put it on. I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'm going to go for the best Kanye West intro. No, I'm going to have to take Good Morning. Yeah, I'm going to take I, it. I, yeah, I saw, I saw take, that yeah, th- th- There's no way. There's no way. Because I'm looking. I have actually, I have a pick over Good Morning. I just think, I think you're going to fucking skip over it. I think you might skip over this one. And if I get this song, dude, it's really, I think it's GG's in the chat if I get this. But you have to be careful. You have to be careful here because there's some big ones. Well, you know what? And... You might call me crazy for making this claim, but I'm going to go with an intro that's better than Good Morning by Kanye West. What are you going with? Someone, something that Kanye West did play a part in, production-wise, if you, if you catch my drift. Going if you know, you know. I'm going B-Intro by Common off of the B album. Okay. That's such a W for me. Some of my favorite ever bass guitar plucks to start off a track. Um, one of Kanye's best ever produced beats. You know what? Because I have a song over it. Uh, th- that was actually in my queue. That was going to come up. If you, if you didn't take that around the four or five, I was absolutely Better song than Good Morning. Come on now. Yeah, but it's not going to beat Regulate. It. No, I'm going to take Regulate off oh, of this. Oh, uh, Regulate's no, 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 an no, no, intro. No, no. It's true. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the song. There, that is going to end it. I forgot that, that Regulate is gonna was the intro. That is going to end it. Give me Damn Regulate. It. Oh, my goodness. What a vicious draft. What a vicious draft. So, yeah, I, I had to trump you there. That, I had that, to that's come a good in. one. That's a good one because it wasn't on my radar at all. Yes, sir. That's like the surprise of the uh, draft. Lou, you got to finish strong here. Absolutely, I will. You better believe it. Um, Again, a song that, again, to me is better than Good Morning, to me is on the same level of something like a Tuscan leather. Um, I used to pray for times like this, baby. Okay, Dreams and Nightmares. Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill, my number four slot. That's a good one. Not only lyrically dense, but just an absolute fucking anthem. Um... I had to get that right there. Okay, W. But wait, you see, wait, wait, you're probably not even picking it, but I need to. No, I had it. it. I had it. Oh, you did? I had it. Um, but I didn't have it over this. This is where I'm going to take the best song off of Daytona, in my opinion. If you know, you know. I'm going to have to start it That's off. Fair. The last classic album in rap music, um, a 10 on 10 album. The perfect way to start off any rap album. And to be honest with you, I just don't think that you're going to get a better song at this point within the round. So I'm going to have well, to Well, of course it. you can. I mean, there's like, you know. I'll tell you what I'm looking at. Like 1985 by Freddie Gibbs and The Alchemist. I'm Not looking better at than that. You know, you know. I'm looking at Follow the Leader by Eric B. and Rakim. Uh, um, incredible intro. Um, but ultimately, number five. Yeah, you, you have to. This, close is, off this is going as a number five pick. Wow, what I'm, do you a, I'm a lucky man. What do you get? I'm a lucky man. Liquid Swords off of Liquid Swords. Yeah, that's cool. Number one by Jizza. Um, wow, I have just a beautiful mix of modern gems and vintage classics. Fuck yeah. 
uh, okay, so this is the way my draft order goes. I got Ambitions as a writer. I got Tuscan Leather. I got Good Morning. I got Regulate. And if you know, you know, that's a fucking scary Like draft. I said, the, that's the, the, the one piece of credit I have to give you is the Regulate because I didn't see it coming. Th- that was a, I think that solidified this draft for me if I'm being completely honest with you because um, I think like getting Kanye's best ever intro, getting arguably the best ever intro to any like hip-hop album of all time with Ambitions as a writer, getting the best probably intro of the 2010s with Tuscan Leather. Like, Tuscan Leather and Will- and Wesley's Theory, they're on the same level for me, rapping performance-wise. And then after that, getting If You Know, You Know, the intro to a 10-on-10 10 10 rap album, the last, like, classic one. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm okay with this one. Like, I, I think I took you on this one. I don't think so. I, think I, I have, at on number one. one, the best rap intro of all time, Wesley's Theory by Kendrick. At number two, Put It On by Big L off of his... Uh, debut album, which is a masterpiece. Then number three, B Intro by Common. Four, Dreams and Nightmares by Meek Mill. Number five, Liquid Swords by Jizza. Like, I have intros off of some of the best rap albums in hip-hop history, and all of them are top-tier quality. You know what? I'm always honest. If I lose or win a draft... This is another dub for me. I, I'm too in a You're never honest. I'm too in a Yeah, you th- in your world. I Absolutely. Mean, there's no way. Um, but yeah. all right. The third draft here is going to be Posse Cuts, and this means rap songs with four rappers or more. And we also made it a point so that groups that have four or more members, like a Wu-Tang Clan, you can't use, like, group Wu-Tang songs because if not, like, these drafts would be flooded yeah, with, like, flooded. Cream and, you know, Can It All Be So Simple and a bunch of others. So we, we decided to do that. All right, so um, you, you're on the board, man. What do you got? Yeah, you see, again, this is another case where it's like, do I go for what you're probably going to grab or do I go for truly what I think is the best hip-hop posse cut? Um, man, when, when I think of just the era that we grew up listening to music and what you could say is the most iconic true and true posse cut, it's between two of them. But in terms of like, where you got the best range of rapping performances. It, to me, it's One Train by ASAP Rocky, and, and, and that's going to be my first fair, pick fair, here. Fair pick. I had to go with pick. One Train by Rocky. I had it at, I had it at two. Uh, sorry, I had it at three. My bad. All right. I, I had it at three. I, I don't think you could go wrong with that pick. That's you can't. Fine. That's fine. Um, well, everything considering, I think you know where I'm going to go with this. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Ice Cream. I'm going to take Ice Cream off the board. Yeah, that's going to yeah. have to get snagged right off of there. I saw that um, One of the best hip-hop songs of all time, Raycon, Method Man, Ghostface Killer, and Cap. Like, just, you you can't, you could argue that this is the best ever, like, solo Wu song of all time. Um, incredible rapping performances all the way around. Yeah. All right, Lou. So, uh, ball's back in your court. You know what? what? You like, because there's so many more, like, 90s old school posse cuts I can grab from, I'm not going to be too eager with those. I'm going to solidify another modern classic. Give me Forever by Eminem, Drake, Lil Wayne, and Kanye West. Th- that's a good pick. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, ju- I just think you're in, find- in terms like- of like, this is a posse cut that is worldwide renowned. Like, you ask any hip hop fan their favorite posse I understand. cut, this is coming it's just up that, in that like, list. You look at the Forever pick and be like, yeah, that's great, but. Like, there are certain rapping performances that don't add up, let's say, with, like, other songs that might be on this list. No, like, you, you know why I, I like it over a lot of these other ones is that it's one of the only posse cuts in history to have a catchy hook by Drake. Well, to have a catchy hook in general. Think about yeah, it. No, no. I, we, I, we, I get, I get other, what you're like, saying. This is, like, this is a complete song. Forever is a complete fucking banger. Like, I could I could think of another posse cut that I Anyway, so go for it. This. Yeah, it's, it's your um, up. Fuck, but do I absolutely just smoke you with the 90s now? Do I just go with the 90s shit? I could really do the 90s stuff, man. I, I could take that. But you see, like, you're drafting... Well, no, you went modern era. So I went I'm modern. Gonna... That's the style of mine. For now. For now. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. G- give me fourth chamber. I'm not going to ah. skip on this. No, give me the fourth <laughs> chamber. I, I can't. That's I, I, for I, the Wu classics. I, 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 no, I can't. You see, the, we weren't able to go with the Wu material because it was going to be too overpowered. But, like, I have to go with the next best thing. Like, you're literally getting some of the best posse cuts of all time. Like, they're probably, like, the forefront of posse cuts. You, you can't get better. You're not going to get better than them with it. So that's it. Like, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I got away with ice cream in fourth chamber. It is up to you now, my friend. What oh, do you yeah, I'm go not with? worried, brother. I am not, I'm going to go for what was a beautiful moment in hip-hop. Six southern hip-hop legends uniting on a song. UGK, Outkast, 3-6 Mafia in production. International Players Anthem is going to be pick. my third pick. This is a song <clears throat> I want to play to my wedding, bro. Like, just feel good vibes. Um, just going into like a bunch of relationship stuff. It's just, it's a song for everybody to enjoy. And again, top f- fucking tier rapping performances, arguably three stacks is best feature. Um, I had to snag it up. Wow. Okay. So where do I go? With was that next... going to be next for you? Be honest. No, it wasn't going to be next with me. Really? I'm going to be, I, if I have to be, wow. I, I feel like there is better songs out Shame there. Shame on you. 
And um, I'm Shame gonna, I, I'm actually, I'm gonna go to one of the best produced songs of all time, um, a song that Kanye West said actually in inspired his entire career of drums, and this is one of the best drum patterns of all time. I'm going with Explosive I, I, off yeah, of 2001. I saw that coming. No, I can't. Are you kidding me or what? <laughs> one of the best coming. songs off of the best albums of all time, if not the best. No way. You know, uh, Six Two Corrupt, Hitman, Doctor Dre, and Nate Dogg. Stupid. Arguably the best ever hook. In, uh, in hip hop history, in my opinion, as well. I, oh, yes, sir. What a right. fucking draft. Next up for me, I'm going to go with I'm stuck between two classics. Oh, baby. How do you like my drafting this episode, though? I've been, bro, I've been putting pressure. I'm, I'm putting pressure as I've well, been, man. I'm, I'm some not worried. Serious pressure on I am not worried whatsoever. But next up, damn, you know what? Which one of these two am I going to go with? Yeah, this is just. This is the one. Bitch Please 2 by Eminem. Good pick. Bitch Please 2, Eminem, Nate Dogg, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. Um, like, this is literally the hip-hop Avengers um, of that era coming together to give you greatness. It was between Explosive and Bitch Please Part 2, but, like, if I was eyes closed, which song is better? I'm going Explosive any day of the week. So, Bl Bitch Please Part 2 is on mine, and now you have... <sighs> Your last pick. I know there's a I, I, I just realized, did, did we fuck up the order? Because I was supposed to no, you're go good. first this time, right? You did go first. You took one train. I took ice cream. You took forever. I took fourth chamber. You took international players. I took explosive. And now you oh, just yes. took Oh, yes. Okay, so you're two. at four. My bad. Yeah. We're no good. problem. Let me just input you in here. Because that's why I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the entire draft. So make sure that we don't have any mistakes. Okay, so I have a lot of like classics here. I have, me like, too. Uh, my list is only classics now. Is it really? Yeah, well, you have the one train, you have the forever, you have like, you have big ones, you have explosive marketable ones. I feel like I have like all time, like defining genre ones, if I'm being honest with you. Um, same could be said for you. Let me ask you something. Is Vice City in consideration? Is the Vice City pick in consideration? It's there, yeah. Are you looking at it in that last round? No. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be honest I'm with you. I'm not either. Um, okay? Same thing for that part remix. That's one of my favorite. Like anytime Black Hippie got together, they okay. were going to rip it up, but no. It's not a Fuck. top five for me. Ah, uh, bro, I could go too. Like, this is the problem. Ah, uh, shit. You know what? Just for the sake of the fucking draft, bro, I, I, I have to take Mercy off the board here, bro. Mercy's getting really? ready. Really? Mercy's okay, off the board. Okay, you know what? I feel like you needed the, that pick the, for your draft because you needed, like, a modern iconic one. And this well, was, the, was it for Well, you. not only that, but I need something that's going to be able to play, let's say, with, ox. like, well, you're forever and, like, you're one train. That's it. Like, I've never, again, this is another song that if we bring it into ox battles, and we've done this in the past summer, like, it's never losing a round. You could, like, put this against whatever you want. I really do feel like this is one of the best ox songs of all time. Explosive performance performances from everyone on this track as well mercy is taking off the board and th but there's th one more there's one more song here i played a risky move here i played a very risky move because if i get away with the next one i could go to bed and i could be happy That's this it. is just so interesting to me because like looking at my board and what's up there i would not have picked mercy i'll be honest um, oh, so what are you gonna pick what do you got damn it's really between two songs both classics well there's actually another modern one that i really like that i feel like we're sleeping on um, but ultimately, in terms of having one of the best mafioso rap songs of all time, Affirmative Action by Nas That's had right. to be my last pick. Yeah. The only thing is, I feel like you would have maybe taken that a bit earlier, but looking in the context of the song still. Like, I didn't need to, though, clearly. Well, I was thinking about it. I had it in my queue, but... Was that going to be next? Is that the one you said you no, could go to bed happy I, I with? Was, no, I was going to take another one. And it's in my opinion, this is one of the best East Coast posse cuts of all time. Um, I feel like it is a better song than Affirmative Action, and this is going to be the Flavor in Year remix. remix with, yeah. yeah. Like, I Big Yell, Cool J, like, like, Busta. The, the, yeah, you can't... <laughs> <laughs> it's stacked, no, but affirmative action. Like is as different. a posse cut, though, like I feel like this is a better posse cut than affirmative action. If I'm being honest with you, I disagree. But also, scenario by a tribe called Quest did not go drafted. I'm um, got my mind made up off of uh, all eyes on me. Pinata by Freddie Gibbs. That That's didn't go. A sick um, one, bro. Don't like that was another one that I was considering as well. Kanye West, Chief Keith, Big Sean, Jadakiss, Pusha T. Really dope by Danny Brown. That was another one. one. Uh, but ultimately, let's go through the drafts. All yeah. right. So, um, for myself, I have ice cream. I have fourth chamber. I have Explosive, Mercy, and Flavor in your year. Wow. All right. That's a I have sick lineup. There one, we go. one Train by ASAP Rocky, Forever by Eminem, Kanye, Drake, and Wayne. Three, International Players Anthem by UGK. Four, Bitch Please 2 by Eminem. And then five, Affirmative Action by Nas. I'm covering different regions, different eras. So, um, so yeah. 
And I have you, and I have all time classics within the nineties. I feel like I have the stronger nineties pool than you do. Like for mm. classics, bro, fourth chambers, woot, come on. Yeah, I've explored, for nineties, yes. Yeah, yeah, and like, I have, like, I have like, the modern I, edge. I, yes. You're right. Yeah. Like I like I have fourth chamber ice cream explosive and flavor in year. Like that's that's ridiculous. That is a stupid draft. But okay, you know what? I'm very happy about this order. Cause this next round is songs that were never featured on an album and Lou I, I think you know what you have at number one. D- did you but you know what? I'm going to tell you this. This is probably the draft, if I have to make a prediction, that I'm going to do the least good at. Just because this was a hard this one, was the prepare. hard one to prepare for, because especially when it comes to like 2000s music or 90s music, it's, it's hard, hard to, to know because you weren't there for the rollout. So it's hard to know what was. You have to play Lucy's. this one kind of. St- and like, this is going to be the one where it's like. I, I'm on the same vibe as you. I might do bad in this. I one. might do bad in this. So you guys might rip us to shreds in the comments for the ones that we leave out. So by the way, the category, it's Lucy's. Just songs that were released onto streaming platforms. That never made an album. Exactly. And they have to be on DSPs. Like it yeah. can be something loose that released on YouTube or SoundCloud. Um, Something that on that piff, like whatever the case may be. Example, I had like Control by Big Sean as but my that, number yeah, one. But yeah, it, it never made it. Never on DSPs. Okay, so listen, this is why I really wanted to go first in this one. And like yesterday I had to like, I was like, bro, please. Please let me go first. I, think I know what you're taking. Yeah, it's gonna be Exhibit C by J Electronic. Oh. God, that, there we go. You're not gonna get a better one. I'm sorry. There isn't a better. There isn't a better. There isn't a better. There isn't a better. Like you, you got the best one off the board. I'm gonna be honest. Um, and and you know what I like about this one as well is that depending on what you do with the hard part four or the hard part five here, um, I'm just gonna go with the next best one. And I'm and like you can't either, do that though. Hard part oh, five is on Mr. Morale. Oh, that's true. But I'm taking the hard part four. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay, uh, that's, that's easy money. Okay, that's an easy one. Um. So yeah. yeah, that's cool. I, I could get away. It's with only that fair, one. yeah. It's on the album. You can't, you can't include it. What would you have picked though between the two of them? Uh, it's like I was considering the hard part five. Like now that I look at it, because I had the hard part four slash the hard part five, so I was gonna decide on what you went with. But you're right. Like it made the deluxe version of Mr. Morale, so I kind of got confused there. I'll, I'll give you that pick. That's fine. What would you have chosen though? Um, I would have gone with five if I could have. I think five is a better. It's hard because four is a bit more aggressive, but like as an artistic feat, I do think that like the the number five is a bit better. Yeah. All right. So let me continue going now with this number two. This is going to be interesting for me. Um, This is one of the most iconic songs in this guy's catalog, um, and never made an album. We spoke about it. We spoke about it actually not too long ago. Um, This is going to be "False Prophets" by J. Cole. And I'm going to hit back with "Everybody Dies" by J. Cole. But you see, like I'm going to do the one two because "Everybody Dies." But it's not better than it's. You could argue it's better than "False Prophets." No, No, guys, "False Prophets" or "Everybody Dies" in the comment section. Let me know. I'm just saying, "Everybody Dies" is literally J. Cole telling. Us like I'm gonna kill your favorite rapper like that's him yeah but on, that's him on a, I'm gonna take over the, the throne type shit yeah but and I love he, that yeah, side yeah, of Cole. He, he, you have other songs like that in his catalog. I'm not saying Everybody Dies is an amazing song. The it's music fast, video, how yes, iconic that. But, but those it's not a better video too. No, but when you look at like False Prophets, like there's people still reposting like that picture of him in the bus. Bro, I'm like, not worried about it's viral a, social like, media a, content. No, it's him like absolutely dissecting Kanye and like just absolutely breaking him down. One of the best diss songs of all time, without having to be a diss song. If I'm being honest with you but this is where things are going to get interesting okay because that's it now now it's kind of like open season is it the same thing for you at this yeah, point yeah it's pretty much it's pretty open, open season. season at this point um i'm gonna go with a song that you have said is one of your favorites from this one artist it was never released on an album it's gonna be sundress by asap uh, yeah. i had it i yeah. had it next up <laughs> yeah, there we go i Sun- had it next up uh, i think i'm getting you in this one oh, i'm, I'm sorry bro. <laughs> um but you know what i'm gonna go with uh, a song that has equal value to me mm-hmm. a song that i feel like when we're looking at iconic duos in hip-hop this is some of their best um synergy ever on a track a song that was supposed to be a lead single for the carter five i'm going believe me by lil wayne featuring drake what a fucking banger okay that let is. me ask you something what a though. banger um ho- hold on yeah but believe me never made it believe me never made like, any like, album you, brother like you take believe me because like i'm gonna i'm gonna go with another drake song after this and i think you know which one i'm gonna go for um you wouldn't have gone with also, trophies you can go with trophies, but you, but you wouldn't trophies have gone tro- cool. like tro- trophies. A much bigger anthem, dude. Like it's one of the best non released in his catalog. Like Drake's Drake's rapping is so much better on Unbelieve Me, and so That's and then so you have Wayne's verse too. The production is much better on trophies. The triumphant horns production is better, but rapping performances uh, are better on Believe Me. I, I disagree. I, I, I would probably take Believe Me as a song. So you rather bump Believe Me? Yeah, absolutely, Oof. bro. That, that's an aggressive. 
like that's a trunk. Yeah, rattling. you know what? So if you're talking, you know what? If you're downplaying it, I'm gonna choose a song that you can downplay. That's gonna be "Summer 16" by Drake. I'm gonna have to take that off the board. If you wanted, <laughs> that's to, a better pick. Yeah, yeah if you want a better fucking pick, if you wanted, if you wanted, that's better than trophies. I, I, I don't want to hear any excuses. It's when better we're than trophies. The, if you want to, if go. you want to go with it, like I'm gonna I, have I'm, to. I'm go. gonna keep it a buck for sure. Yeah, because the thing is, is that yeah, you're getting the double beat switch. It's one of the most aggressive hip hop songs that released in 2016. It kicked off an iconic moment for rap within that era as well. Dissing Tory Lanes, bro, fucking dissing Kanye, um, talking about Jay Z's throne. Like you cannot get a more aggressive um, Drake than that. So I'm gonna. Have have to go with summer 16 that's all right, off fair the enough uh, my fourth pick here you know what I'm, i feel like i've been collecting like infinity stones of like mega rappers lucy's i have kendrick i have cole i have wayne now i'm gonna go with kanye west and i'm gonna grabbing? take all day by kanye west easily that's a good one um in terms of like that's a just good one in your face direct bars banging trap beat this song is um is truly one of those staples um, that a lot of people wanted to see make a Kanye album, but never did. So I got to snag that's that one That's a great up. pick. Okay, so how do I end this off here? There's a lot of different ways to go with this. So I'm going to delete the other ones that I had at the bottom. I'm going to tell you the ones I wasn't going to go with. I had 18 by Travis within my queue. You really, well. realize I still have another pick though, right? Yeah, that's fine. You can take whatever. I already okay. th- I already won this draft. That's not a problem. I'm For sneaking. Sure. Um, I'm going to leave that off the board. Not taking um, that. We're not taking that. Lens by Frank Ocean. I'm going to gonna leave that off as well. But these were just like more like consideration picks in case something would have happened you know in case i would have had to divert so those are out now um ooh. Are, are you wanting something specifically no i have like i have like two of them that i'm debating this between so that's what it is okay because one of them you was know. gonna be an asap rocky song i think you know which one i would go for yeah uh but i'm not gonna take it here because i already have an asap rocky song we said that this is a top 10 song in this artist's catalog, and it's going to be Sanguine Paradise. I'm going to have to take this off the board from Uzi. Um, one of his best ever performances. It was a great way um, to kick off a new era of Uzi, and I'm sad that it didn't make Eternal a take because it's one of his best ever songs. And I needed like a modern banger within this. I needed something that was going to be lighthearted, fun, great Ox song, um, and it's a staple within his catalog. I'm going to walk away with this so I'll one. tell you the ones I was looking at. Yeah. Um, no Romeo, No Juliet by 50 Cent. That's like always... I'm, I'm not going to choose it because I wouldn't go there, it's not amazing, but... I like I love Chris Brown's rapping on there. Like he showed me what he could do in the mic on that song. Um, Clutter by Jid. There's actually a lot of Jid Lucy's yeah. like bruh remix. There is. Um, there is. The Are one going he with dropped Jid, this year. I'm not going with Jid. Um, Ziploc by Saba is that's another a, yeah. favorite of mine. Yeah, you could go there. But ultimately, life is like a dice game by Nas. You get yeah, that's a, three that's a good different pick. generations: Nas, Freddie Gibbs, Corday, all giving you their best effort. It's a breezy summer tune um, with incredible performances all throughout. Um, so yeah, life is like a dice game by Nas. All right, let me go through this. All right, so Exhibit C, um, that was my first pick. Second pick was False Prophets. Then I took Sundress by ASAP Rocky, Summer 16 by Drake, and Sanguine Paradise by Uzi. Yeah, 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 the, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's time. Cool. It's time. It's time to admit it. Now, now I, I, is a good time I, I, to admit. I, I, it. I think Sanguine's the weakest song out of all ten of ours, to be honest with you. But you do have Exhibit C. Um, my five are this. Number one, The Hard Part 4 by Kendrick. Mm-hmm. Number two, Everybody Dies by J. Cole. Number three, Believe Me by Lil Wayne featuring Drake. Number four, All Day by Kanye West. And number five, Life is Like a Dice Game by Nas. Um, to be honest with you, it's like, I think the, I think the comments are going to be split. For me, it's, it's pretty even myself looking at it because besides exhibit c and you, false, said, you said you're an honest guy i said i just did so, so this is the first you- round wait let me finish this is the first round where i said we're even in my opinion lead yeah. it to the comments <laughs> yeah we're even we're it, even here so, so so far in lose mind he hasn't lost a round yet in <laughs> have this you episode. lost one yet have I lost anything yet? I'm you, not even. You, you, I, you, you I, never I don't admit speak, it. You, I, exactly. I, I don't speak. You never admit it. But I don't. I don't speak. No, you you, you do speak. You say I, I win. I don't speak. You say I won. Start off the next round. Songs that feature a number in their title, but oh, this is baby. the rule. Okay, you want to see, bro? You know how many options I have on here? I have 25 different options. I have two pages worth <laughs> of options. <here. laughs> this is great. So, guys, to be clear yeah, with okay, it, go for it, it's songs that feature a number in their title, but it has to be either the number character itself spelled out. So, so yeah, you can yeah. be like, let's say. Two, the word two spelled out. Like two words by Kanye wouldn't count here. Also, it needs to be within the very first character of the song title. Yeah, so it has to start the song title. So for example, Bound 2 by Kanye West doesn't apply. Here. Would not count. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> this, is, so it, it, this, this, this is the round that I was waiting for. Oh, baby. This was the round that I was waiting for. This is going to dictate the episode, in yeah. my opinion. Th- this is like, this is about winning the war. 
fuck the battle. This is about winning the this war. This is winning the war. Yeah. Um, wow, I have so I have so much to I choose do. from. That was the problem with me doing this many options is that like low key I'm lost. Yeah, literally, L- like bro. I'm lost. I don't even know where to go. With okay, this. but I, I I know where I am going with my first pick. That's what I'm happy with, bro. Is that like I I could I could kind of set the tone with what you're picking. It's like, do I go with what I think the best song is here? Do I go with a classic because yeah um, it's up to you you know what yeah this is just one of those all-time great hip-hop songs um that still hits today it's had the test of time 93 till infinity by souls of mischief that's gonna be the first i had it i'm gonna take that off absolutely 93 till infinity boom still being used for freestyles to this day and like incredible stuff beautiful song yeah what do you mean? Yeah, you just said like yeah, you, you would have like if, if, if I was okay. No, I, I would have picked it, but like four to five range. I would have gone with it. You, you just said I had it. I have to take it off. I thought you had a number one. No, I, I do, but I have it like lower in my rankings. Like I'm taking up. I have it on my draft board, but like right. it wasn't going to be my first pick on this one. Um, okay, I'm going to have to go with the obvious one. We're going to get nine hundred two one out of here. We're going to have to. It's it's just like. I, I can't. I, I cannot leave you. I cannot let you get away with 93 till infinity and the 902 and no. Yeah. It would have been criminal. That would have been criminal. All right, Lou. So it's up to you now, man. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go, Lou? <laughs> there, there, there's one artist where we could have a billion <sighs> fucking options to choose from. I don't know if I want to go with that one yet. Um, you know what? Fuck. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, my boy Cole once again. For okay. your eyes only. Okay. Off of the board in terms of narrative based hip hop songs you're getting 10 mi- 10 minutes of brilliance not only does it work as a song on its own but it ties a whole fucking album together that's a serious pick that's a great pick serious pick for your eyes only by Cole if you wouldn't have picked it bro you would have lost this round automatically absolutely I, I think it had to be done um okay Ooh. this one's interesting so now that I have the 90210, do I go for some of these artists' best and most diverse songs? That's what I'm thinking, bro. I, I think that, like, I want to go for the fan favorites and within the catalogs. And Are you going to do another Uzi pick? <laughs> another, uh, another, I got oh, you on that one. I don't even have to sure. look back at the draft. I'm completely fine with it. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to pick this, but one of the good options, and I don't think you're going to go with it because if you do, like, I think there's a much better song on here. 18 Wheeler by Benny the Butcher. Were you considering that? Featuring uh, It wasn't written in. I mean, would I consider it? Probably not, but it's a, it's a great song. That's another great one that I was considering in there. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop giving you my takes on these fucking songs because maybe you would choose them if think, I didn't you say You think anything. right now, based on like what we I, have... I, I surely hope not, but why mention 18 Wheeler right now? Like, it's not even up there. That's very true. Come on. Okay, all right. Um, you know what, man? I think we're gonna have to take 2009 by Mac Miller. There we're you gonna go. get that off. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that off. I want to go. I want to go for diversity here. Like, I want to like, I, I want this draft to be like these artists pushing their artistic bounds to the most that they possibly can. One of the most emotional songs of the 2010s decade. Um, a song that I hold very close to my heart. So 2009 off the board. I had to take that away from you as well. That's I knew. Fine. I knew you were going with that one. I was not going next with it though. Like, maybe would have yeah. cracked number five position or not. <laughs> or not at all, but um, you know what? Like at the end of the day, we're playing for, we're drafting the best rap songs out of all of these, and I have to stick true to that. Um, so I have to continue going with again songs that are ten on ten, perfect tracks, and another one that I can throw into that conversation is Ninety Nine Problems by Jay Z. Like, come on, bro, how are you sleeping on Ninety Nine Problems? I'll let you take it. Come on, I now. told you the draft. I told I told you the goal with my draft, though. Yeah, but you, you, no, but the goal is already set out. It's to choose the best song. So, so like something like Ninety Nine Problems is a better song, let's say, than a Two Thousand Nine or a Nine Hundred Two One Zero. They strive in different areas. They're completely sure they different do, rap but songs. I, I think that like, like and, and that, by the way, like these are songs that feature a number in their title. Yeah. So I could have gone with like a fucking like Queen song if I wanted to. It's open season. You could pick whatever you well, want no, as long it, as it, it has to be a rap song though. Yeah, but I mean, like, I still could. If I wouldn't have like picked another song that's kind of out of the realms like that, then I think it would have been okay. Right, but what regardless, do you got next? though, um, I'm gonna take 911, Mr. Lonely. Again, I'm trying to go for these modern. catalog gems um, that are modern for, let's say, the artists. Songs that are defining their careers show that full artistic evolution. The Frank Ocean feature, like, it's just, it's such an overpowered song. Get 911, Mr. Lonely, in my draft. You're 902 and no 2009, 911, Mr. Lonely. Okay, let let me ask you something. Yeah. Um, do you think that I'm choosing like a lot of fan favorites that I might get the edge over you on this one? Like, just, like I feel like I, I feel like you're not gonna get the edge just because like you're choosing to go for like songs that are hot and relevant like as of right now. But I'm looking at like the bigger scope of things. A lot of these songs were released like eight nine years ago too. 
So like I, I don't know. I'm not really like but not going I, after. I, I, like, I just feel like you're, you're pleasing like mainstream this, favorites with this and nothing else. Um, but these are some of my favorite songs from like these okay, catalogs. That's fine. Like, and they're some uh, of the most. You asked me if you have the edge. I don't think you have the edge. I have what? literally. For your eyes, only 99 problems and 93 to infinity. I have 2009, 902, Winona, and 911, Mr. Lonely. You need some classics in the mix, bro. Um, next up for myself. You didn't say that for the posse cuts, did you? Um, <laughs> well, I had, I, had, I had classics there. I had affirmative action. No, you had even said it. You had said that I got you on the classics from the 90s. So I should just use your arguments wisely I, before I, I, you turn I, I, anyone against you. I said that I had the better, the better draft. Before you turn anyone against you, Lou, you got to use them wisely. But okay, seven I, I, I'm trying to do some reverse Look, psychology because he knows not, he's losing I'm this not. draft. Um, the next pick for me Hold here. Hold on, just, just to be clear. You pick I'm at number four. Pro- you're at number four. You picked 99 problems before yeah, this one, right? Exactly, man. So just to sum up what you have already, 93 till infinity, for your eyes only 99 problems. You got it. W. All right, my fourth pick in the draft here is going to have to be, ooh, ooh, I could do some damage with that. Do I want to do that much damage, though? Okay. Why wouldn't you? You want to win. Absolutely, I do. Um, Yeah, fuck it. I, I got to take it. Because you know what? I have to go for like just a straight-out banger. Six foot, seven foot by Lil Wayne off the board. Very good pick. There we go. I think there's better rapping performances if you want to do rapping performances over here, but you're good. Take that. I will. All right. I will indulge. So where am I going with this next one? This one's going to be interesting. So, um... This is where I'm going to have to start considering some things. This is where I'm going to have to start looking at some uh, some options here. So you have a lot of the lyrical miracle stuff, which is completely fine. All-time great stuff. I have a lot of diversity within my picks as well. Um, all-time classics. You know what? I'm going to go for an outlier pick here. Okay. And this is going to really like... It's it's one of the best songs of the decade so far. Is it a risky one? It's going to be a risky one, but I think in the context of 90210, 2009, 911, Mr. Lonely, it's one of the most soothing songs to listen to. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to take 327 off the board by Westside Gun. Give me that. I'm going to take it off the board at this point. I think in the context of my draft, this makes perfect fucking sense. All modern fucking defining songs for the genre. I wanted to take it. And Couldn't I had be it happy there. with that. Yeah, with like with, with, with the, the, the table you're leaving me with? Wow. Incredible. Well, what do you got? What do you what do you have left? So much, man. Like, that's that's kind of the thing is that it's like, I feel like if I choose the right one, I could end it all right here before you even give your fifth pick. Um, so you don't even feel like you've won at this point. I feel like I've already won, but this would really be like the nail in the coffin, so, as but, they but say. You always right. contradict yourself with your statements. Though. How, you how did I contradict get, myself? Because you just said like this because this is gonna win me the draft, but like you've been saying. I said that, win like, me the draft before you even choose another one, like automatically. But like the, the, the but, draft's but already won. This is your won. last one. Like yeah. I have one more pick though. So, I, like, like I how said, did you, like you, this is something coffin. you would probably say like at like the two or three position. You, you've done your draft. This is gonna right, complete it. I don't even care about this argument. Can I just take my pick? Sure, grab it, bro. Fuck, man. The last one that I'm gonna go with here. As I said, so many amazing options to choose from. But ultimately, we're going to go with another classic 50 cents. 21 questions off of the board. One of the best books in hip-hop history. I never said that, bro. You want to rewatch the episode? You, you keep did, trying to find but... me in certain things that I said and flipping my words. No, but you, I said you that I want to go said... for classics and I want to get... Just some of the best music, ten on ten, perfect songs Listen, that have numbers in their titles. Unless I'm fucking twenty one questions by didn't fifty you, cent. Didn't you say? Bro, b- you by, could choose your nine and eleven, Mister Lonelys. Go. I, I'm, I'm waiting. Why are you dissing nine eleven, Mister? I'm, I'm not. But when you have twenty one questions openly, on the board, no, when I, you have twenty one questions on the board, I'm and you're fine. choosing nine one one, Mister Lonely, it's like, come so on, brother, dig a bit deeper. You should have picked sooner. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. I didn't you, have to because you weren't choosing it. <laughs> you should at least let me make my statement. The way that you had started off this draft was saying you're going for the strongest rapping performances. I never said that. Lou said that Rewind. we're going for the best rap songs here. And I had to even reiterate, like, reiterate excuse me, this, the title of this round for you before we even got into it. Saying that you can pick whatever you want. But if you want to go 21 questions, that's fine. I think it's a great pick. I'm not going to diss it. Um, it's an all-time classic within the genre. I just think that it's a bit of an outlier for what you've been going so far as far as a total draft. And it definitely doesn't put me in a bad position. Um, as far as what I'm going to end this off with. So I have a lot of different stuff. Um, 444 was in consideration um, by Jay-Z. That was a big one that I was considering. I was considering One Train by ASAP Rocky. Um, I was considering 1985 by Freddie Gibbs. That was also in there. Two of America's Most Wanted. I had 21 questions in the board. 3,500, 3 um, uh, 3,005. But this, how am I going to end off this? Okay, I'm going for modern shit. 151 Rum by Jid. Yeah, that's what you were considering. I had yeah, that, that on the board. That, yeah. that is a good one. But no, I'm not going there. 20 Min by Uzi. 
Yeah, is that where you're going? Another is last it? Uzi pick? Well, no. You, after that, taking Uzi in the last draft, I'm like, maybe uh, he's going to no, repeat. No, that, that's a top five Uzi song. I'll take that off the uh, off of the board um, for mm. sure. But okay, you know what? This is a song that has heavily inspired me. I'm still going to go with this one. Um, this is an all-time favorite for all of us within NFR's Drake company. Drake Timestamp? No, because I don't really want to go anywhere okay. there. I'm fine. I already drafted like some Drake songs within this. Um, and I already have a Mac Miller song on here, so I feel like if I could get away with 100 grand kids, I'll take it. To end off the episode, shout out to Mac Miller. I want to get rid of 100 grand kids. One nice of the best. pick. Yeah, you have to hear. You know, I I'd like this is an all-time favorite song for me. The way that the production switches up is absolutely fantastic. 100 G's in my G's, I'm a genius. Like, you're not going to fuck around with this. And um, it adds to my diversity inclusion, too, just because of the switch in tempo of the song. And uh, it's one of the best songs within his catalog as well. And I needed a good rapping performance as well, just to kind of shut you up for a bit. So, major songs I we left out, though 22 Twos by Jay Z. I don't know how that yeah. went, went, went not drafted. Um, what else do we have? 3005 by Childish Gambino. A 500 Benz by Joey Badass. Eight Fourth Dimension. Um, 1985 by Cole. 97 Hove by Benny. Um, 5 a.m. in Toronto by Drake. 76 by Rock Marciano was a gem. 100 by The Game featuring Drake. That was another one as well. Um, so yeah, let me read over my draft. 90210, 2009, 911 Mr. Lonely, 327 and 100 grandkids. Uh, I have that. 93 Till Infinity by Souls of Mischief. Four Your Eyes Only by J. Cole, 99 Problems by Jay Z, Six Foot, Seven Foot by Lil Wayne, and 21 Questions by 50 Cent. I don't even think that I have to make like a claim for this draft. I think it speaks for itself. But you guys, let us know in the comments who you think won every single round. Five different drafts. At the end of the day, you guys let us know. We can talk all the shit that we want, but we don't fucking decide. That's what it comes down to, right? We made some questionable picks this round. You made some like this starting rough? off with trance, not with nah. well, songs that don't feature Travis there. Scott to start off with trance. That's a that, that's a hot take. I don't think so. Th that's a hot take. I got you on ambitions as a writer. Um, the posse cuts was good though, but ultimately I think that I had gotten the classics over you on that one. Songs that were not ever featured on an album. Guys, agreed, listen, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm just gonna tell you we want every draft, so we could just skip I that don't, part. No, of I, the I'm kind of I'm just kind of summarizing <laughs> what I'm seeing based here. I have them all over here, but guys, um, thank you so much for watching this episode, and we will be doing more drafts just like this. Thank you guys so much for your time today, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.